nothing happened in this episode, and I'm talking about action-wise, but a lot happened. I mean, the tensions were high, the emotions were high, a lot of things were going on that's going to be foreshadowing the rest of this season. Now, we open up the episode with Jerome's body being carried to the funeral home so it can get fixed up, so to be prepared for burial. Unfortunately, rest in peace to Jerome once again. Now, this image right here, we got your girl Aunt Louie. She's looking at the pictures and looking at all the memories that remind her of Jerome. And she's triggered. I mean, she looks a mess. But deep down in her soul, she knows it's her fault. She even looks at herself in the mirror. The reflection isn't so pretty, you know what I'm saying? But she doesn't want to take accountability. So... I don't know what to say for Aunt Louie, but this is your fault. You can't say that it's Franklin's fault. Yes, he had a share in this, but not in the recent events. Yes, he was the root of all of this, but not in the recent events. You had control of what was going to happen for these events, and you. this is what you selected, and this is the outcome. Now, what I want to talk about is Teddy and how stressed out he is due to the fact that Franklin took out his father. Now, his ex-wife shows up, and she's knocked up. She got a baby on the way, and at first, I thought she was going to be pressed about Teddy seeing Parissa, but apparently, she ain't even thinking about Teddy. The only reason she even responded to Teddy was because Teddy hit her up for whatever issue well this issue so she just lets him have it she tells him that he ruined everything <laughs> ruined the marriage trying to keep up with her, his tyrant father i mean she just fessed him up right in front of his new chick that was funny to me but that's everything that he needed to hear and then he's gonna sit up and say i don't have the money and she don't even want to hear no more games she's tired of it you can tell that he's been lying to her all throughout the marriage you know what i'm talking about and she even says it give franklin his money give it to him right now and it's not impossible for him to do it he keeps making it complicated it's getting worse now teddy lost his father that's taking a toll on him god knows how much of a toll it's going to take on him once he loses parissa even parissa says I'm getting tired. I'm going to start looking elsewhere. You got $73 million. I mean, you're going to keep it for yourself or you're going to split it with me. Because she's starting to see through Teddy. Because after Teddy got fessed up by his wife, oh, yeah, she's seen him fulfilled. Now, I want to talk about how Aunt Louie got crazy and left the house and was just driving and screaming and crashed into a... Um, pile of trash right in front of scully's hood she almost got her head blown off but she's connected to scully due to the fact of what happened in the events of season four finale so her and scully are having a heart to heart after she has a mental breakdown and they're talking about how they lost their loved ones and how they was able to find peace and aunt louie i think aunt louie is trying to get scully to get on her team to go back at franklin i predicted this so many times in so many different videos over the course of two seasons man i'm telling you man I, it's just right there but anyway i have a feeling that she wants to work with scully and she even brings up tiana about how he feels about it and to be honest with with you scully still feels away if you pay attention to the tension that scully had between had with him and leon in the last episode the way he was grilling leon he looked like an angry like he was pissed he looked like he wanted to rip leon's head off but to keep it respectful all for respect of jerome he didn't do that and he stuck with the mission some people predicted that um, Leon was going to get shot by Scully, but I I highly doubt that. I mean, it was too much going on, too much good, you know, you know how it is. But anyway, so there's that. Gustavo gets interrogated by your boy Ruben. Now, you can tell that Ruben is losing his patience. Ruben wants Teddy. He wants Teddy real bad. Now, he's talking about this cocaine shipment that's supposed to be coming, and he has another opportunity to set Teddy up and to arrest him. Now, Teddy already has plans. He already has suspicions that Gustavo is on some sneaky stuff. Now, even though he told Teddy that, oh, they're going to be coming for you, that still doesn't mean anything. I mean, time goes by. What else? What I mean, what else are you going to do to show that you're loyal to me? And I think Teddy is stressed out right now because he don't trust no one. 
So I don't know how that's going to work out for your boy Gustavo. But your boy Gustavo and Franklin come up with a plan. And it's not looking good for your boy Teddy. Teddy is having his world crumble around him since those events that happened in, in um, episode five. Now, we get to the scene where, I mean, I want y'all to really pay attention to the scene. I mean, if y'all go back and watch it, I mean, pay attention. I mean, when the, when Mayweather, if that I'm, if I'm saying his name right, I am think I'm saying it wrong, but Mayweather was talking to a CIA official or a leader, whatever he is, but it was some government-looking dude, all right? I'm sorry, but um, it was a government official, and they was discussing Teddy's actions and how he's been going um, insane due to the fact that he lost his father, and you can see vividly how he dismisses what's going on with Teddy in the whole cocaine business in the Nicaragua war he said that's to keep that to yourself that's your business I don't care about anything he even calls Franklin the n-word I want y'all to really think about this and let them let this marinate in y'all head and really just just process it like yo this is how they think about us this is exactly how they thought about us then and that's why they let all of that happen the killing you see all the killing that's going on the violence it just spun out of control Due to due to this drug being now Franklin on the other head. hand needs help from Leon. He needs to borrow half a mil to buy his freedom. Now it's pretty funny that Franklin is coming back to ask for help for Leon, but whenever Leon needed his help or needed his hand in something, you know he was kind of standoffish. You know, and I'm not saying that Franklin wouldn't do things for Leon because he would definitely ride for Leon. But right now, Franklin's motivation is money. And how hard he's going for this money is understandable, but at the same time, it could probably cause his demise. Now, I don't know why everyone was saying that Franklin is a bad friend, but at the same time, I get it. But I don't think he's a bad friend. I think that he just has some selfish ways so I don't know how that's going to play out with him and Leon getting the money because what if things go bad? Because you can see how Leon was looking at Franklin after Franklin dismissed whatever Leon had to tell him. And he said, yeah, I'll come back and pick up the cash. So that kind of left a sour taste in his mouth. So we're going to see how that plays out. Now, things aren't looking too good for Franklin. He's losing sleep and having panic attacks. And you can see how he's clenching onto his chest that something's going on with his heart. I mean, I may be reaching, I'm not a doctor, but normally when, especially when us black men are stressed out, we run up our blood pressure and we weaken our heart. So if you see, obviously, what he's been going through throughout the past few seasons, that can take a toll. So I'm going to make a prediction about that. We're going to talk about that because that's something to look out for. But anyway, Veronique is a real one because she sticks with Franklin through thick and thin and she doesn't care what anyone says. She knows that Franklin is determined to give her the life that she wants and she's going to stick besides him. And so I like that about her. Now, it seems like Leon is returning back to his old gangster ways and Wanda isn't having it. Now, I'm going to keep it all the way a stack with you. Wanda is right because Wanda told Leon what was the point of coming back to L.A. Nothing is changing. And you'd think that him beating down Big Dion was going to change something. But what revolution did that start? It's always going to be another Big Dion and someone worse at that. So you either going to have to feed the people or get on out the way. And when and feeding the people mean serving them crack to sell and ruin the community. And that's just a messed up option. So I don't know what Leon was thinking. Now, Wanda got her money right. She got some home decorations, and she's looking for an apartment to live in because she doesn't want to stay in the projects any longer with Leon. Leon is over here loading up guns, getting ready for war. I don't know what he's thinking, but he's going to get himself killed. And... I don't want to see that for him. I would really hate that for him. Now, in this image right here, I want to talk about this one real quick. You see how Wanda is looking, how Leon is looking. Wanda is looking at the casket with Jerome, and she sees how Aunt Louie is looking, 
and she fears that she's going to end up the same way and that's going to be her fate. And she's basically telling Leon, like, I fear that for us. I fear that for you. I don't want you in that coffin. And that's basically a sign that he needs to get out the game. Now, you can see how Big Dion walked up on him, sizing him up, talking about, did you get them fools who shot uh, Jerome? And he was like, yeah, but you can see the tension. And I don't know, man. I feel like the next episode is going to be really explosive because I feel like all of the worlds are going to collide. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's going to be really crazy. Now, one thing I did enjoy about the funeral is how they had the Ready or Not theme in the background. I thought that was fire, and I thought that was OG and real legendary. Shout out to, to the music composer for doing so. I think Jeff Russo is the music composer. Gustavo meets up with your boy Franklin, and he tells him he's been working undercover. He mentions that Teddy has photos on him and Aunt Louie, and Franklin gets mad and pulls out the hammer, but somehow Gustavo was able to calm Franklin down, and they start coming up with a plan to take out your boy Teddy and get him going for pretty good. It's realistic if you ask me, but for story purposes, so be it, and I'm here for it because Teddy has to go, and he needs to go. He has to get up out of here, man, for everything that he's done. He took my man's money and everything. I mean, come on, bro. Like, how you going to do your boy Franklin like that? Now, we get to the end of the episode where Franklin and Aunt Louie are having a conversation, and Aunt Louie asks him, why did you come back for me? And Franklin, like a G, tells her, why and he says that i was way i was raised to respect women and i wouldn't let men do you do a woman like that and i totally respected that and then she's gonna be like what else and <laughs> he just lays it on and says the deal you made with me that you was gonna help me find teddy now earlier in the episode she had made a deal with teddy well assumedly made a deal with teddy to catch franklin now she's stuck in a rock in a hard place now she can't get out of once again trying to be the leader now i don't know how this is going to play out because in the next episode it seems that scully got convinced by your girl aunt louie that franklin is a op and they start working together and i can tell because of them red colors i keep telling y'all pay attention to the colors and everything man to it pay attention man but anyway man it looks like it's going to be a crazy episode overall this episode was emotionally charged a lot has happened and there was a lot of foreshadowing for the next episodes and the final episode of the season and i look forward to it and even though the Kane storyline is done, this is the second half of the season. And I feel like that was only the beginning. I feel like the inevitable is bound to happen. Your boy Buckley, I think he's going to get taken out at some point by your girl Aunt Louie because when he showed up at the funeral, he lied to her talking about you didn't, he didn't call you for that gun in your shipyard. And then he was just straight up lied. So... I think your girl Aunt Lou is going to get him killed, so don't be surprised if he ends up dead towards the end Overall, of the season. Overall, good episode. So anyway, that is my recap video, my review. If I missed anything, it's because I only watched it once, and it was live, and I decided to give y'all this video now. But anyways, man, hit the like and hit the subscribe button. Drop anything that I missed in the episode, and we'll talk about it in the next videos. Anyways, man. I'm up out of here. Y'all take care of yourselves.